New York King Muquan. New York King Muquan. What is New York King Muquan? In order to understand what New York King Muquan is, we start with the mission statement. We are a martial arts school with the development and growth of our students and becoming productive and positive members of our community is our highest priority. Our goal is to develop our students into leaders, role models, and confident members of society with the finest physical and mental training discipline and personal development skills. We practice martial arts as a form of living and personal development, a journey that begins in the dojo, yet continues outside of the school and throughout life, life. New York Chain Mukwan history starts with Grandmaster Ozzy Wright Jr. He began his martial arts training while stationed with the United States Army in the Republic of South Korea in 1969. There he achieved the rank of first degree black belt and now ranks as Grandmaster ninth degree black belt. As one of the foremost martial arts instructors in the United States, Grandmaster Wright opened and maintained several martial arts schools in Philadelphia, New York, and Massachusetts. Master Dennis Goldsmith also trained in Korea along with Master Ozzy Wright up until his blue belt. It wasn't until he returned to the U.S. that he was able to complete his training under Grandmaster Ozzy Wright and receive his black belt in the mid-70s. He is a fifth degree black belt in Taekwondo and provides both private and group lessons in Taekwondo, kickboxing, and self-defense techniques. He is also a certified personal trainer and yoga instructor. Master Jeff Canada began his martial arts training in Cambridge, Massachusetts under Master Dennis Goldsmith and received his first degree black belt in 1983. He now ranks as a master six degree black belt. He is the chief instructor of the New York Chain Mukwan School and has trained over nine black belts in New York. Since 1990, he has served as CEO and president of the Harlem Children's Zone. Master Canada is also the acclaimed author of Fist Stick Knife Gun, a personal history of violence in America and reaching up for manhood and has received numerous awards and honors, honorary degrees and several television appearances, including 60 Minutes and The Oprah Winfrey Show and MSNBC. The purpose of today's video is to document the student's journey while preparing for the Red Bell exam. With no further ado, I present to you Chang Mu Kwan and its instructors.
CO2 needs to be real. Nothing is, nothing is fake. Thank you for a few minutes of your time. And after we meet the people of Chang Mu Kwan, I urge you to clap your hands. 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 My name is Kamala Austin, and I've been here since July. Been here doing what? July 2011. Uh, my name is Ricardo Richards. I've been in uh, Chamber Kwan for about four years. Uh, my name is Lene, and I've been doing karate for since I was 10, 8, 10. My name is LaRose, my name is Dr. Vaughn. My name is Douglas Gross and I've been doing muscle arts for a year and a half. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm the chairman of Paris, Peter, and Justin, and they've been coming here for three years. Hello, my name is Talvis, and I've been in Chemu Kwan since January. My name is Don Christian, and I've been here since I was six. Oh, no. Yo, you serious right now? I am Joan, mother of Jonathan. We've been here four years now. And I'm Jonathan. I'm a vet queen though. Yeah, four years. Hi, my name is Shai. I'm the mother of Marita Parker. Who's that? Skyla. Okay. My name is Skyler and I've been doing Taekwondo for two years. I'm Jeff Green. I've been doing Taekwondo for one year now. Hi, this is Sam. <laughs> I am I'm so excited. Come here. Shoot up, shoot up. This is crazy. Hi, I'm Jackie, mother of Jeffrey Matthew Jr. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh, goodbye. Go away from me. My name is Tariq Rich, and I've been taking martial arts for a year. Go, yo. I'm Damari, and I've been in, a, in martial arts for three years. My name is William Sylvester. My name is Chris. I've been coming to Chain Kwan for five months now. I've been coming for about um, a year and a half. My name is Emmanuel, and I've been here for one year. My name is Darrell Salva. I've been doing martial arts for five years. My name is Sigmund Joshua. I've been training since since 1992. That's about 20 years and about eight years of class experience. How you doing? My name is Jerry Canada. I'm a second degree black belt in New York Chen Mu Kwan. I've been practicing martial arts for over 25 years and I've uh, been teaching now for over two years and it's a way of life and I love it. How you doing? My name is Dwayne Christian. Um, I've been with Chen Mu Kwan since November of 1997. I started in New York basically because Black belt from Philadelphia by the name of Dan Granger introduced me to That's where I met Pascal Albert. He was the black belt teacher at the time. And I had the 
called Danny up and they asked me, like, is this the right school? Is this the right school? He's like, is his name Pascal? I was like, yeah. He's like, that's the one. Join it, join it. Here I am, a late 20s, beginning 30 year old man. And I think the youngest student next to me was like maybe 13 at that. So it was, I couldn't spar. I just had to do the drills. And when it came time for sparring, the only way I could spar is I had to go and do tournaments. Also, I became an advanced blue belt. That's why I met Jerry Canada and brother Ed Correa. Um, they helped me train because at this moment, so it was just basically just us three and our advanced red belt, Heidi Dixon. She would train the three of us the best she could. I actually thought about quitting when I was a red belt because I thought I was wasting my time. I thought I wasn't really getting any better. But at the same time, I looked at everything I went through and I realized I've come this far. I'm not going to quit. And I pushed myself. I trained hard to the point where I felt nothing could stop. But nevertheless, as long as Chimu Kwan is in existence, I'll be here. I love what I do. I love my students. I wouldn't change it for the world. It helped me get through a lot. I love all those who came before me. Pascal, Albert, Roberto, Heidi, Alex, Sandra, everyone who came before me. Master Jeff, Grandmaster Ozzy Wright, all of them. They all show me love. Jim Kwan is family. There's no other way to put it. And I try to instill that within my students. I love my parents, the kids I love. Even though I come down to Harlem, it's never personal. It's only to make them better. Nevertheless, as long as I live and breathe, it's Chang Kwan forever.